Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. So some big news today. Um, an ESPN story uh, broke. Um, according to uh, investigative reporters uh, Don Van Netta Jr., uh, Seth Wickersham, and Tasha Thompson, huge story. Um, that is on ESPN right now um, concerning Dan Snyder. Um, and there seems to be a lot that is uh, blowing up with Dan Snyder. seems that a lot of uh, the other owners are extremely upset with Dan, uh, possibly wanting him out. Um, there is an owner's uh, meeting next week in New York, I believe on Tuesday, and there could be possibly a, an opportunity that Dan Snyder gets voted out on Tuesday. You have to have three three quarters of the owners to vote them out and there seems to be a sentiment that it's going to be kind of difficult to get three quarters of the owners to vote him out um but as the story says uh dan snyder is saying that he has secrets that will blow up a lot of nfl owners the league office and of course roger goodell we all know what those secrets are but dan snyder's pretty much taken the approach that if he's going down and he's losing his beloved franchise, that there will be casualties that he's going to take with him. It almost seems like now it's not a question of if, but it's a question of when. And it's going to get very dirty. Uh, this is going to be a very dirty uh, situation that's going to happen. Um, of course, you know, Snyder, Snyder has been accused of, um, of a toxic uh, club culture, sexual harassment, um, and of course, accounting misdeeds. Now, the interesting thing is it's not so much the toxic club culture and the sexual harassment that the other owners have been upset with Dan Snyder on. It's been the accounting misdeeds. Uh, allegedly, uh, Dan Snyder's been accused of not paying out the proper amount of money to the visiting teams whenever, you know, of course, teams come to play the Washington Commanders uh, at FedEx Field. Um and uh, that's what have that's what really has a lot of the other uh, owners up in arms with Dan Snyder. It's not so much the other stuff, but certainly the other stuff could be grounds to you know for dismissal. Um, now, will that happen? That remains to be seen. Um, but if you read through the article, um, where it just goes through every. Thing. I mean, it's very detailed. I haven't had a chance to really go through everything with with the article, but um, you know, it is it is really an interesting article, and I would suggest everybody go to ESPN, read the article, read it more than once. Um, I think honestly, right now, the deciding factor for Dan Snyder is going to be Jerry Jones. You know, we saw the. Um, the picture of uh, Jerry Jones standing next to Daniel Snyder before the uh, the game against the Dallas Cowboys a couple of weeks ago. It was almost a um, you know message being sent to the other league that Jerry Jones still on my side. Now, according to the article, they feel like Jerry Jones can't protect Dan Snyder, and Dan Snyder's even come out and said that he's got stuff on Jerry Jones. Um, there's been talks that Dan Snyder has hired uh, private investigators to investigate other owners, coaches, um, you know, players. I mean, you name it. Dan Snyder has, has done it. And he, so he's got a lot of information on a lot of other people, um, a lot of extremely important people within the league. And that he will release this information if the other owners attempt to F with him, basically, is what he said. And uh, so right now, you know, the thing is, the other owners probably are, are a little concerned as far as should they attempt to vote him out next week. They can. At the owners meeting next week, they could definitely vote him out. It takes three quarters of a vote. Um, positive vote to, to vote him out. Um, so 24 owners uh, need to say yay on voting him out, and he's out. 
Others feel like that there, there may be an opportunity to get him out by um, attacking the financial part of this, um, the uh, the debt part. As we all know, uh, he was granted some extended um, um, borrowing of money, so to speak, to uh, to buy out the rest of the minority owners about a year or so ago, and. Um, some people may feel like that Dan Snyder cannot just simply write a check to, um, you know, obviously pay for another stadium. I don't think he can either. And because of that, I think they may be able to use that as a tool uh, to possibly get Dan Snyder out. If that's the case, then uh, what the move could possibly be is what's being told in this uh, interview is that um, Dan Snyder's wife, Tanya Snyder, would be given sole ownership of the team. Dan Snyder completely stripped of, of anything of the team. Um, the, the sentiment of the of her, all, the other owners and um, you know other execs within the league, they uh, they seem to like Tanya. They they feel like they can work with her. Me personally, I feel like. Um, ultimately, you need to get rid of everybody. I mean, I don't know about Tanya. Tanya's probably a much better owner, but I think honestly, I, th I think a clean slate is involved. I think as long as that there's a Snyder involved, Dan's going to try to find some way to get involved. And I think you just have to remove him completely, and you do that by removing the entire family. So it's going to be interesting to see. You know, what is Dan Snyder willing to um, come out and, and expose? Um, you know, honestly, should he expose some wrongdoings with other owners? Probably. Um, but, you know, this could really damage the NFL. And is Dan Snyder willing to damage the entire NFL if he loses the team? It sounds like it. And what does that tell you about the type of person that Dan Snyder is? That he's willing to uh, crumble the entire league, you know, in order to, to hold on to his team. He's willing to kill everybody in order to, you know, if he's going down, everybody else is going down with him. Um, that shows you what type of person he is. He needs to be removed. I don't know if he is. But it's a very interesting uh, situation here, and we're going to have to certainly, um, I think we're just going to have to pay attention to what else is um, involved. But I would strongly advise everybody, um, read this article. Um, the article seems to think that Jerry Jones is done with Snyder. Um, Ian Rappaport doesn't feel like he is. Ian Rappaport feels like that. Jerry Jones is still on the side of, of Dan Snyder. And while that's so, Dan Snyder still has an in. But I think once that, that relationship is severed, then that is when Dan Snyder's in, in trouble. And it could be teeter-tottering at that point. If, if uh, Dan Snyder and Jerry Jones part ways, then you watch out because that is when Dan Snyder is done. Hope all of you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Uh, give, show me a comment. Um, share it with other folks. Let me know. Uh, just let me know what you think in the comment section. And I will see you in the next one.